Happy Sunday. Welcome back to Kevin Toll Reads. Hope you're having a great week. This is my weekly wrap up from this past week. I read one book and two short stories last week. Yeah, you heard that right. One book and two short stories. It was a good reading week. I got a lot done. It just didn't feel like it in terms of numbers, but we'll get into that. So I had my book review up yesterday for The Grace of Kings by Ken Liu, the first book in the Dandelion Dynasty. I've been meaning to get this for a long time. I read book one. I really enjoyed it. I gave it a 4.5 out of 5. It is a beast of a book, but I got through it this week. I'm really proud of that. And then I read two short stories for my Saturday short story series, which I'm really enjoying. And the first one being Cabin Fever, and it was by David Edgerly Gates. I gave that a 3.8 out of 5. I really enjoyed it in this collection. And then, lo and beholds to me, there's something called Sumerian September, and I just happened to want to dive into Conan. I read my first Conan uh, entry, and I read The Phoenix on the Sword, gave it a 4.4 out of 5, really enjoyed it. You know, definitely wanted to just kind of rip through these, and but I'm tempering my expectations. So in terms of scores this week with short stories and novels, I had a 4.2 as a good reading week. I also started To the Blue Mountains, or no, excuse me, To the Far Blue Mountains, and it's by Louis L'Amour. This is book two in the Sackett series. As you probably know, a bunch of us are reading through the Sackett series, a couple books a month. I am on book two, and I got about 65, 70 pages into it. Last night, I started My Sister's Grave by Robert Dugani. This was the Meredith pick, a.k.a. Molly. And I actually texted her last night. I'm like, why didn't you tell me this was so good? And she, and she was like, I've been telling you, you idiot. Um, but anyways, <laughs> this was really good. I'm really kind of sucked into this thing. And so I, I'm going to continue reading this and this this week. And we'll touch base again when we're talking about what I'm reading this week. But those two books I started la uh, la last night and this week. And so I am plowing ahead, but it just doesn't feel like I am in terms of numbers. But that's okay. In terms of videos last week, I also felt like I was really down. And, you know, when you don't do a lot of book reviews, you don't do a lot of videos, it felt, felt like. But I did a lot of miscellaneous videos, and I'm excited about what I did. Uh, obviously, I had the book review. I did the Saturday Shorts. We did another book haul. Um, we did the deep dive character study on Hannibal Lecter. I really enjoyed that. I got some great feedback. One of the um, feedback, one of the the people that, that commented was like, hey, you forgot. And he would, they did another movie on, um, all, they did a movie on all four of the books and you just missed one. And so I was really appreciative of that feedback because I do miss things when it comes to research. So I appreciate that. It was really fun doing Hannibal Lecter. I mean, interesting character. And then I also did another miscellaneous video talking about uh, does quality writing matter? And it's kind of, I've been thinking about this for a while and we'll get into it uh, when we talk about some other things, but that video kind of spurred an idea in me. In terms of the channel engagement, comments, subscribers, it's been really great. Obviously, I surpassed 400 subscribers, which is crazy. I say that every time, but I am just tickled to death about how positive the feedback is. I got a great comment yesterday uh, from... Uh, Jago07, I think it was, really kind-hearted comment talking about, you know, I really appreciate the fact that, you know, you don't, you're not in here reviewing all the books that everyone else is doing. You have something fresh and authentic, and I, I really appreciate that feedback. I really do. It meant a lot. But in terms of comments, subscribers, and everything else, it's been great. I had comments and some congratulations from Jess Bur Book Girl TV. She's great. Patty Page, Bing Lamb, Fox and Fiction, Book Chat with Pat, Graz at the GKBC, James Biddle, um, Xanadu Castle, Bucky749, Amex GT, Hide and Read, Miss Ladybug 1974, Nagel Bagel, um, Jago 07, Little Big Library, Faceless, Book Ramble, Outer World Media, McNulty, Book Corral, Albert the Conjugator, Cliff Amons, 6043, Lens 12, Ingrid Fitz, 5677, Bad Taste Books, Six Shooter, Steve Donahue, Filter Barris, uh, Free Indeed, 7720, My Mom Again, Jonathan McKnight, Nerdishly Active, Dr. Logan, and Dustin Neely. Some usual suspects, some new ones, and it was great. I'm getting a lot of comments and a lot of engagement on videos, and I'm, I'm, I'm liking it. I'm definitely liking the thought-provoking videos, and we're going to touch on that in a minute. So in terms of what am I reading this week? 
I'm very excited to continue with both of these books, obviously. I uh, we'll need to get this one done, stay on task, which should be a problem. Uh, I've enjoyed the first 65, 70 pages of this. This one I'm just going to rip through today, probably. It, it, it just feels like it. Um, and then I have another, grabbed another one from my TBR. This is book two in the Evan Tanner series, The Cancelled Check by Lawrence Block. This is a quick read. Again, Evan Tanner is the one that can't sleep. So he's got this like really photographic memory. He, multiple ling uh, languages. He's in all these social clubs and he kind of is like a thief and a social engineer. These books are written Back in the 60s and 70s, I'm really, I enjoyed book one. I'm going to read book two. And then in terms of TBR update, that will leave these books up here on the TBR. So I got uh, Quarry's Deal, Pines, the first book in the Wayward Pines trilogy, and Airframe, which I've read multiple times and I want to read it again because I just enjoy that book. And so that will, uh, TBR is going to get depleted pretty quickly, obviously. I may, I mentioned this in the, uh, my review of The Grace of Kings. Do I jump in and get into book two? <clears throat> book two is big. It's like 780 pages. Do I get, jump, work ahead? You know, do I work ahead on the second series? You know, there's all these, it's the same problem that you all have as well as I do is there's just so much you want to read and, and there's not enough time. So it's just about what makes the most sense, you know? But anyways, I added a section here in my weekly review talking about book-related news. I know some people like to do kind of updates and own their own dedicated videos to like news-related items, things that have caught their attention and they want to make mention of. I thought I'd throw it in here in my weekly wrap-up. In terms of, I mean, you probably saw my post, Salem's Lot coming out to Max in October. It looks, the trailer looks great. Um, I find that book is one of King's best books. It's definitely one of the ones you always see in the top tens and most people's lists. I really enjoy Salem's Law. I think it's great. Definitely interested. There's, there's just some major characters, Father Callahan, Ben, you know, it, it, it's going to be interesting. I, I'm looking forward to that. And then I wanted to let you know, obviously I'm reading through this now and I keep holding the book up. Ken Liu, um, huge fan of his so far. This book was great. His two short story collections were great. One of the libraries here about probably 45 minutes to an hour away from me, he is coming to the library to do a speaking engagement and sign books. And so, and that is like, I think the 10th of October. So I, I'm going, I'm going to go see him. And so hopefully I can get a book, maybe get signed, listen to him talk. I am, I don't, living in central Illinois, you don't get a lot of that. And so a major writer like that coming around, this area is pretty cool, and I'm definitely going to go and, and see what's going on with that and hopefully meet him. So be stay tuned for that. And then when I mentioned earlier when I was talking about, you know, I was doing these various videos like I did the book, Do Book Ratings Matter? Does Quality Writing Matter? I'm going to start kind of a new series which is called Let Me Know because I always kind of title those videos, Do Book Ratings Matter? And then in quotations, Let Me Know. So I'm going to start a Let Me Know series, and I think the whole purpose of this series would be to put a book-related topic out there and see what people's thoughts are. I mean, it could be, you know, so far I've done, talked about, you know, what aspects of what you consider quality writing, what, what aspects of, of traditional writing, you know, the pillars of traditional writing matter to you. I've talked about book ratings, you know, how subjective they can be and how do they matter to you or do you have more of a mood or review feel and so those create a lot of engagement a lot of discussion and that is really really cool and that's what I'm all about and so I'm going to launch a new series called let me know and I'm going to have a video and which is a nice segue into upcoming videos where this week I'm obviously going to do some book reviews I'm going to do the Saturday shorts I'm going to do another video in the why you should read series and then I'm going to launch during the week a let me know video I'm going to create a new pl playlist on my channel put uh, the aforementioned two videos in it and then keep piling on with uh, let me know questions it could be again anything could be very 
thought provoking, you know, it could be something simple as, you know, do you read with the light on? Do you read with <laughs> something like that? Just to create a conversation, get feedback from you all is where I'm at, is what I'm after. So that is the weekly update. I hope you all are having a great weekend. Um, it's been crazy for me this weekend, back pain, sick kid. Yeah. Plowing ahead though. Hope you have a great week and I uh, look forward to more videos and more reading. Have a good one.